hello toots then <coughs> in swp before going to see the stop and wait go back and and uh, select the repeat protocol uh, as we discussed uh, we need to know that some of the definitions so that uh, every concept will be clear and these terminologies we are going to refer we are going to use in the entire network course so in that we have the some here we have some definitions is there those this category is some kind of delays in computer network so here we have the four kinds of delays queuing delay processing delay transmission delay and propagation delay so these are all the all together different kinds of delays uh, which will occur in the computer network so in that let us see the first one queuing delay <coughs> here as the name implies here that queuing so queue so in the queue how much time it is going to be wait means before going to be processed so let us take assume that this is the one router r1 router so here <coughs> this is the router this router have some buffer here means so whatever packets will come so if router is processing some other packet so whatever packets is coming those will all should be stayed in this one so here how much time you are going to be stay your pa packet how much time it is going to be spent in this buffer that we are calling as a queuing delay because this is the queue in case of this router so see <coughs> here packets will wait in this manner so as much time it will wait that we are considering here queuing delay so if you see the definition the amount of time packet is waiting in the queue in this queue how much time it is waiting before being taken up for processing means this packet have to be take the this router and then it have to be forward in a in appropriate direction based on the ultimate destination ip address so to take to process that one before that it has waiting in this queue so that we are calling as a queuing delay in this case so this delay may vary from 0 to infinity when zero cases suppose whenever packet is came this router assume that this is uh, ideal so in that case it need not to uh, stay in this buffer because this router is ideal so that it will pick that uh, packet immediately after reaching this router so that's in that case queuing delay this queuing delay will become zero so when this case will occur infinity suppose router is busy with some other packet and the buffer is full whenever new packet is arrive so suppose one new packet is arrive so only the case here is it is going to be discard this packet it is discarding this packet whenever there is no <coughs> space in the buffer so at that time whatever the packet it is come it is discarding here in this case of course it will give acknowledgement to the source so in that case that packet waiting time is infinite so that's why here we have the two cases and so here mainly in this queuing delay we have to observe one thing that this queuing delay is depends on this buffer size if buffer size is more you can accommodate more packets so that infinity case you can reduce for the more the packets and second thing is a router speed router processing speed we can say so router processing speed so it basing on the router processing speed and buffer size this queuing delay will is depending so this is something about uh, 